Hello! In this tutorial, an alternative way of solving engineering mechanics problems is clearly explained. This way of solving are some of the real world typical to their structural action or mechanisms is called the virtual work method. That is, the analysis of multi link structures which change their shape or configuration are generally best suited or best handled by virtual work method. Uh, in conventional mechanics dealing with equilibrium, we solve the problems using equations of statics. If this is the rigid body, subjected to forces of multivarious kind, horizontal forces, inclined forces, moments, that is moment of a couple, then we used to solve to find the either the internal forces or to verify whether the system is in equilibrium or not, we made use of three fundamental equations of statics. That is algebra x sum of all the horizontal forces equal to zero meaning there is no horizontal jerk whatsoever and sigma f y equal to zero the algebraic sum of all the vertical forces equal to zero that is no vertical jerk whatsoever for the rigid body and sigma m equal to zero with respect to some predominant point called moment center that means there is no tendency for rotation there is no rotation so absolutely the rigid body will be in equilibrium and in order to be consistent in equilibrium sigma fx should be equal to zero sigma fy equal to zero sigma m equal to zero that means the fundamental equations of statics is to be satisfied however there are separate class of problems in which bodies are made up of interconnected members interlinked members or members with lot of links where relative movements are expected and uh, they are they are formed out of a particular kind of articulation with multi links they change shape or configuration whenever a force is applied at some other point some point and you will see dislocations or moments or application of forces at some other end uh, a something a member something like this which is connected of a triangular shape and if you apply the force over here p1 and it will it will go in the in the forward direction in the horizontal direction because a roller is provided over here and there is no constraint as far as the movement of these forces the problem may be uh, to find how this movement can be stopped or what is the force that is to be applied in order to avoid the sliding and here, here again if this is this is a typical case of a piston and if the force is applied and what is the moment that is generated at this particular point that may be the question and here again a force is applied over here and what is the force that should be applied over here in order to in order to prevent the relative movement of member AO or what is the what is the force that is to be applied over here in order to push this up and here again this is a portal frame with hinges and, and there may be something which is under question uh, what is the configuration if p1 is applied over here or what is the configuration when p2 is applied over here anyway this is system of pulleys and we we need to find out tension in the uh, tension in the ropes or tension in the wires in order to hold this particular body in the equilibrium and here again there are different links different links and this particular configuration is uh, developed in order for, a, for in order to satisfy a particular uh, particular condition of a machine of course this linked structures will arrive hugely in automobiles and in mechanical systems and uh, the question here may be uh, what is the force p uh, on the sliding collar to be applied which will hold this particular arm in horizontal position 
and here again there is some kind of a moment that is that is generated due to the application of the force p or what is the force p that is to be applied in order to hold this configuration in this position because that particular kind of a position is needed for some practical purposes and here this is a uh, this may be a punching machine uh, or a, a machine yeah punching machine which is arranged on a rack and pinion adjustment and here this adjustment will call for a small amount of force over here and a huge moment is generated and this moment will be able to pull push this particular uh, punching rod or punching yeah punching rod or uh, yeah uh, to to be push it down in order to create a hole in this particular component so force over here will develop a moment moment over here and the moment in turn will be able to apply uh, some kind of a force pressure which will which will be which will be just sufficient enough to create a hole so therefore and here this is a well known example maybe a paper punch a, a small force p at the, at the at this end and this end is needed in order to create uh, some kind of a hole in this in this paper bunch let us say and here uh, some kind of a small moment is to be applied over a, here there is a lever that is provided maybe and we need we need to apply the force moment a small moment which will by system of this links it will be able to lift this uh, uh, lift this dumper uh, to a particular position so that the goods or whatever can be downloaded and dumped uh, and here we can determine a small force p required to hold a uh, three panel door one two three which can slide over this police and they are there are links over here here there is one link and here is, there is one link so that it can be adjusted in vertical position it can be adjusted in horizontal position and this is a uh, speed reducing machine and here moment is to be applied uh, here is a moment that is applied with a particular speed or torque with a particular speed and in order to rotate this shaft and how the speed can be reduced at this particular point by system of gears which is inside uh, and this position of uh, the working platform can be adjusted by just uh, by just turning a lever somewhere over here and we need a small amount of moment in order to rotate this but anyway we will be lifting a huge structure to various heights and here again there is such a kind of a linked structure and here it is a well known uh, what is the compression that is to be exert that is uh, that is to be exerted in order to in order to in this hydraulic cylinder let us say in order to in order to hold this hoisting platform hoisting platform of an automobile in a particular position so these are all uh, examples of uh, connected components that is while analyzing such connected components or bodies we need to look into various configurations and any anyway once again for a particular configuration we can we can draw or we can develop equations of statistics but it is not sufficient or adequate though they are applicable we need to write in order to analyze such connected components we need to write several equations for several configurations so the procedure becomes cumbersome because they are not direct and most convenient the method based on work done by forces is more direct while analyzing the structures or articulations which will come with various links. Such a method provides a way to analyze the stability of systems that are in equilibrium or we may use principle of virtual work in order to verify whether the system is in equilibrium. We can also find out the resultant if the system is not in equilibrium. We can also verify and we can also find out internal forces uh, that, that keep a particular system in equilibrium. Such a method is called method of virtual work. Work. First of all, before we plunge into defining or understanding the concepts of virtual work, uh, we need to define or we need to recall our memory uh, uh, to, to recall as to what work is. We know. 
work is uh, the work is to be defined quantitatively here rather than its non-technical usage. Non-technical usage means sometimes we will say uh, we will define the work in terms of uh, in terms of a for muscular force required to do a particular task. It is not that definition which will be used over here. We need to mathematically define the work. When a force acts on a particle or a body which is not restricted to move, work is said to be done by the force. Of course, we cannot hold the particle uh, in order that it should not, it will not be able to move in any direction. In such a case, uh, work uh, work cannot be defined or work cannot be done. Anyway, the preliminary condition in order to define the work is the body should be movable. There should not be any restraints for the moment. In such a case, the force, the the work will be a simple product of the the uh, force and the movement that happens, the displacement that happens in the direction of the force, of course. And here, uh, a ball is simply dropped. Now work is, work is done, a positive work is done due to the weight of the ball itself. And here, uh, this fellow is exerting some kind of a horizontal force through his, uh, through his strength or through his, uh, through his capability. And he will be able to draw this uh, car uh, horizontally over the road and this is not constrained for this moment it can move freely so therefore work can be done when we climb a hillock work is done of course it's a negative work because our weight is acting downwards and we are trying to move upwards and uh, climbing down the hill is an example of a positive work because our weight is acting downwards and we are also going downwards and therefore, summarily, we can tell the mathematical definition of a work is force into distance mode along the direction of the force. And uh, there are, we will just verify uh, how we can define the work force, uh, why, how we can define the work done by a, uh, done by a force under various conditions. Here is a block which is being pulled by force F and it moves through a distance of S. Therefore, here force is acting horizontally. Therefore, the uh, therefore the work is definitely F into S. And here the force is acting in a in an inclined fashion with an angle of theta, but still horizontal movement is noticed because maybe probably because the F uh, the component of F that is F sine theta is not sufficient enough to lift this particular that this particular block upwards but anyway it is effective the horizontal component is effective in just pulling this particular block horizontally on this floor therefore the distance mode here is again s therefore in both the cases work equal to f into s and here it is f cos theta into s newton meter therefore the the unit of work is newton meter and here there is a there is a block which is on the inclined plane and it is it moves down the incline for a particular angle of theta and if it is a smooth plane let us say w sin theta is the force which is just pushing pushing this particular r tendency creating some kind of a moment along down the incline down the incline for this particular block and w sin theta will become the force and the distance mode is s Therefore, W sin theta into S is the work done by the component of the weight. Uh, it should be W sin theta into S. It is positive work because force is, force is in this direction. The movement is also in this direction. And here again, the, the component of the force is in this direction, rightward direction. It's also moving in the rightward direction. Here, W sin theta is in, uh, uh, it should be sin theta, sorry yeah w sin theta is in uh, downward direction downward along the incline and the movement is also down the incline therefore this is also a positive force so we can draw several examples for negative force also this fellow is doing lifting his body weight upwards while he does the exercise so it's a negative work and here the 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 weights are lifted up by two meters therefore this is again a negative work because the weight will be acting downwards and here the books are lifted up it's a negative work 
and negative work there are uh, there are still plethora of examples of course these are very simple examples which will make us to understand as to what do we mean by negative work and here no work is done and if a student holds uh, a book uh, let us say heaps of books in his arm and moves all along the corridor horizontally no work is said to be done and it is a typical example of zero work right work is a scalar let us verify how work can be called as a scalar here there is a force that is being applied in this in an inclined fashion and it moves horizontally and uh, through a distance of delta s and the reason for this particular movement is f cos the f cos alpha uh, the the movement is delta s and the work is work is f cos alpha the component of f into delta s and in this case the force is applied like this and the displacement happens this way and in, in since we need to identify the movement along the force it becomes delta s cos alpha the the displacement itself is resolved and we need to recall our memory that force is a vector and displacement is also a vector and here it can be resolved along the direction of the force which becomes delta s cos alpha therefore here again w equal to f into delta s cos alpha therefore because we've obtained the same results of this particular work regardless of direction we resolve the vectors we conclude that work as a scalar quantity since the resolution of either the force or the displacement is immaterial in order to in order to find out the work uh, the therefore the work is a scalar quantity now work done by system of forces there are okay the same principle can be applied even if a rigid body is subjected to uh, many forces or innumerable number of forces there are f1 f2 f3 fr and fn and therefore total work done will be sigma fi into ri let us say ri is the displacement work done is zero when the displacement is zero or work done will become zero if the force itself is zero so now there are there is a typical example over here here the system is in equilibrium weight is acting downwards there is a reaction over here no movement can be expected therefore work done here will be zero because there is no displacement here a ball which is being pulled by this particular force is held in an equilibrium position therefore for this position for this force the system is in equilibrium therefore there is no displacement therefore there is no work and here again this this spear is in equilibrium due to because it is supported by a wire possibly there is tension there is a force that is being pulled and there is a weight acting over here these three forces are keeping this particular spear in equilibrium therefore there is no displacement therefore work done on this particular system is zero and here again it, this block is pulled but anyway there is normal reaction there is w and there should be some frictional force over here therefore the system is in equilibrium no work is done and here in a support no work is done because support is going to offer equal and opposite reaction uh, and it will keep the supported system in equilibrium therefore displacement is zero work done is zero now work done by a moment same argument can be uh, will hold good even for uh, work done by a moment or when we compute the work done by a moment this particular almera this particular uh, cupboard is subjected to force p at a height of h therefore immediately it will generate a moment equal to p into h which is clockwise in direction therefore the resulting configuration of this uh, this cupboard will be like this it will have rotated in the clockwise direction by an angle theta therefore here the work done by this particular moment will be equal to moment into theta so work has a unit of force into distance in SI units the unit of work is joule which is work done by a force of one newton in moving a distance of one meter in the direction of the force therefore for work will be always referred with the unit 
called jowl and uh, we should not confuse the definition of the work with the definition of the moment the dimensions of the moment work and moment remains to be the same uh, it should not be confused because the units of both work and uh, work and moment happens to be newton meter but because there are many differences work is a scalar given by the dot product of force and distance both measured along the same line of course force is there in one direction displacement is also in the same direction while moment on the other hand is a vector given by the cross product and involves the product of force and distance measured at right angles to the force and here it is force the component of the force because moment is expected moment has taken place in the horizontal direction the horizontal component is responsible so f cos theta is the horizontal component so f cos theta into delta r will be will be f or delta r cos theta and this is the work done while the moment uh, uh, there is a force acting in this direction and this is the perpendicular distance this is uh, this is right hand thumb rule right hand rule and here is the moment moment has the direction moment is a vector work is a scalar and moment needs force and perpendicular distance while work needs force and the distance mode along the direction of the force this becomes uh, uh, two salient differences between moment and work though the units remains the same now we will go on defining what virtual work is we define work until now and we will say what virtual work is while defining virtual work we always consider a particle in equilibrium therefore virtual work method is suited for systems which are under equilibrium for a particular configuration any arbitrary small displacement tr away from the natural position that is equilibrium position and consistent with the, uh, consistent with the system constraints is called virtual displacement that means for a hinged support we can give a virtual horizontal virtual uh, displacement for a roller support we need to give only vertical virtual displacement and for a for a hinged support again we can also give a vertical virtual displacement for a for a system which can rotate we can just give a, a rotational virtual uh, displacement that is rotational displacement which are virtual which are not there for some purpose we will just assume that there is a displacement that is given uh, which is very small in nature very small in magnitude however it has to satisfy the constraints of the system the term virtual is used to indicate that the displacement does not really exist but only is assumed to exist so that we can use this displacement to determine various other unknown quantities in the uh, in the system the work done by a force f acting on the particle during the during the virtual displacement dr is called virtual work this is given by del w equal to f into dr because small work will be done for the small displacement and this displacement is also virtual which is not there which is fictitious we will do this in order to solve the problem in order to find out probably internal forces and in order to find out what the other force which should be applied in order to ensure a particular desired configuration of a linked structure virtual displacement may be uh, d theta or del theta uh, small rotation of the body in that case virtual work done by a couple m equal to m into del theta principle of virtual work so the problem solving exercise under the ambit of virtual work is based on a principle called principle of virtual work it states the virtual work done by the external active forces on a system that is in equilibrium is zero for any and all virtual displacements consistent with the constraints we repeat the virtual work done by the external active forces on a system that is in equilibrium is zero because there is uh, you cannot expect any movement therefore we will take it this way 
okay we will give a virtual displacement and we will just equate the, the particular equation that comes out to zero for any and all virtual displacements consistent with the constraints of course this has a lot to say and we cannot uh, this simply is summarily or uh, very precisely the constraints means we have to look into constraints uh, like a fixed support hinged support or roller support something like this before we offer some kind of a virtual displacement right here uh, w is acting downwards there is a normal reaction developed and this is this force p is trying to pull this block in the horizontal direction there is a frictional force that is being developed and there is a virtual displacement of del x in the horizontal direction therefore and here again there is a p which is trying to uh, trying to pull up the incline and there is a frictional force normal reaction and weight uh, and we can just develop uh, develop uh, an equation um, which is consistent with the movement of the system that is in equilibrium under the principle of virtual work we will see it later as to how we can build equations as to how we can solve uh, unknowns in the given problem consistent with the equilibrium two advantages of course this method uh, differs completely from the methods that we have undergone in our previous tutorials previous methods that is while solving uh, while solving a system concurrent force system that is in equilibrium and while solving uh, non-concurrent force systems uh, which are which were in equilibrium that we we solved in terms of finding the internal forces or support reactions in a in a different way in all the cases there we applied the fundamental equations of statics and here virtual work will come with two distinct advantages and comparably with other uh, other methods uh, that we discussed in other in our earlier tutorials there is no need to write free body diagrams no force summations that is sigma fx equal to zero sigma fy equal to zero will be missing and moment summations sigma m equal to zero we need not have to write the free body diagram we need not have to develop uh, sigma fx equal to zero sigma fy equal to zero and sigma m equal to zero uh, and we can find relationships among active forces without reference to reactive forces of course uh, internal forces cannot be tackled by virtual work internal forces that uh, let, uh, let us say frictional forces that are developed within the uh, among the particles of a constituting a rigid body cannot be found out by virtual work method it's only the interactions among the active forces which can be tackled under the principle of virtual work same conventions it's very important thing a force which is up upwards is positive therefore displacements upwards is also positive a force horizontally rightwards is positive therefore displacement horizontally rightwards is positive a moment moment a clockwise moment is positive and clockwise rotation is also positive this is the displacement angular displacement and this is the causing force that is the moment so this is positive clockwise moment is positive clockwise rotation is positive now we will take typical examples to find out work done by the force systems system of forces oh, there is a particle over here which is subjected to force f1 f2 f3 and f4 and we give a virtual displacement small virtual displacement of del x so that this point moves over here hypothetically hypothetically now we can develop forces particle p moves to p dash through a positive distance of dx it is positive distance because it is uh, it is taken to rightwards and here uh, this is the displacement and this is the direction of the displacement work done by force f1 is direct because it is also moving horizontally f1 into x into del x f1 into del x it's a positive work work done by f2 on the other hand is the component of f2 
along the direct along the movement that is f2 cos theta cos 45 into del x that is also positive because the direction of the horizontal component is also along the direction of the displacement work done by f3 equal to 0 because f3 is unable to move this particle horizontally rightwards there is no displacement that can be attributed to f3 therefore f3 into 0 okay there is a zero displacement this displacement cannot be attributed to f3 right work done by f4 f4 has the horizontal component this way that is leftwards therefore f4 cast sin 60 becomes negative it is force which becomes negative but displacement is positive anyway a minus f4 sin 60 into del x so this work done becomes negative due to owing to the force that is being negative force is acting in the opposite direction while the displacement is expected along rightward direction similarly the same argument can be put forth even for vertical movement of the particle and we will assume a positive display small virtual displacement of del y del y in vertical direction p goes to p dash and as far as f1 is concerned it is zero because f1 is horizontal as far as f2 is concerned it is f2 sin 45 into dy which is a positive force because dy is rightwards sorry upwards and f2 sin 45 is also upwards work done by f3 is f3 into del y and f3 is this f3 is this that's also vertical up and the displacement is also vertical up and work done by f4 f4 is f4 cos 60 which is vertically up into del y so this is how we find out simply the work done by the forces and we should be uh, we should be very careful regard to the sign of the force or with regard to the, the nature of the displacement if both are positive then work done will be positive if any one of the any one of the parameters becomes negative the work done will become negative as simple as it is we'll see work done moments let us consider a plane which is subjected to m1 clockwise m2 clockwise m3 m3 anti-clockwise let us also assume that the net rotation is is positive rotation a small rotation uh, which is del theta and these are all the moments m1 does positive work because m1 is positive clockwise and del theta is also clockwise positive so work done by m1 is m1 into del theta work done by m2 is m2 into del theta while m3 is anti-clockwise therefore the moment becomes negative over here it is m minus m3 into del theta therefore whenever we apply the virtual work uh, it has uh, it has precisely steps which goes like this give a small virtual displacement to the rigid body in appropriate direction depending on the problem if it is an inclined plane problem related to inclined plane we need to give displacement along the incline either rightwards or leftwards depending on the situation if it is a if it is a, a particle which is subjected to concurrent force systems we can give horizontally rightwards or uh, vertically upwards a small virtual displacement imaginary displacement fictitious displacement compute the work done by each force in the system okay multiply the forces or their components appropriately with the displacements that we have assumed or we have given and develop develop a total work done by the system sum up and obtain total work done and equate this particular expression to zero so in the melee we will be able to solve several unknowns that are prevalent in the system that are questioned by the by the uh, demand solve for unknown forces reactions it could be reactions it could be positions or whatever depending on the problem so what we solve while we apply virtual work method is context specific or problem specific 
But anyway, what is common in virtual work method is we need to give virtual displacement, small virtual displacement, del theta, preferably in positive directions. Okay, and compatible to kind of movement that can be expected. It, it cannot be it cannot be a virtual displacement in a direction in a direction where a real system cannot be anticipated to move in that particular direction so it should be appropriate in that particular context right we will take a simple illustrative example to reinforce our understanding in virtual work principle uh, let it be uh, to finding the resultant of a force system here is a particle which is subjected to 70 Newton inclined at 50 degree and 80 Newton inclined at 25 degree with respect to horizontal and 50 Newton inclined in uh, inclined to horizontal axis this way at 45 degree and we will just give a positive let e a positive displacement in horizontal direction rightwards and a positive displacement of this particular particle upwards upwards it is shown in dotted lines because it is virtual because the system is in equilibrium let us say let e be the equilibrium and we need to find out the resultant but anyway as virtual for virtual work concept is applicable only for the systems that are in equilibrium we will assume let e be the equilibrium of the system because we know we are, we are fully aware that the resultant is just opposite in direction of E but same in magnitude of E. So let E be the equilibrium of the system R is the resultant. E is negative as that of the resultant. We assume E this way, E this way consistent with this equilibrium sorry uh, uh, with this uh, concurrent force system and we will just negate. We will find equilibrium. We will negate that. That will become the resultant and this will do uh, forcefully because the virtual work method is applicable only for the systems that are in equilibrium assume a small positive virtual displacement del x and del y as shown <clears throat> equate total work done by the horizontal forces in the system to zero equate the total work done by the horizontal forces in the system to zero we will just develop that 50 cos 45 which is going rightwards and the displacement is also rightwards therefore this is positive 80 cos 25 uh, the force is component of the force is rightwards and the displacement is rightwards positive 70 cos 50 that is also positive rightwards and x into del x that is also positive e cos theta this is an assumed equilibrium it has the component cos theta into del x equal to 0 and we will just uh, make del x a common factor and we will take out the other things 50 cos 45 80 cos 25 70 cos 50 and e cos theta equal to 0 del x cannot become equal to 0 because we have assumed this virtual position virtual displacement to be there if it is not if it is if it becomes equal to zero there is no question of solving any problem under virtual work method concept therefore this cannot be equal to zero though it is not there now we will have this e cos theta an unknown to this side we will send it to that side and we will just calculate this and this becomes 152.86 the summation of this portion 70 cos 50 80 cos 25 50 cos 45 and e cos theta is sent to that side for a specific purpose now equate the total work done by virtual forces in the system to be zero in the same token and this is the lift small vertical virtual movement upwards in positive direction and we will multiply the component of forces minus 50 sine 45 uh, because this 50 newton will have its component vertically down therefore by virtue of this force component being vertically down will negate this particular force minus 50 sine 45 into del y del y is positive 80 sine 25 
80 sine 25 which is positive up therefore it is positive into del y 70 sine 50 that is also positive up the component of 70 newton uh, and into del y into e sine theta that is also positive into del y equal to zero so here is a negative work created by one of the forces which is going down so now we once again separate or take del y as common factor and del y cannot be equated to zero therefore this particular terms will become equal to zero and we will take e sin theta that way to the lhs so it becomes minus e sin theta equal to 52.07 now equilibrium is exactly equal and opposite to the resultant magnitude is same but direction is changed therefore uh, it is as good as uh, telling r sin theta equal to minus e sin theta therefore r cos theta the previously obtained value r cos theta equal to 152.86 r sin theta equal to 52.07 and we know that uh, r r cos theta the sum of the horizontal component of all the forces uh, is nothing but the horizontal component of resultant also so vertical component of the resultant is nothing but some of the components vertical components of all the other forces but anyway we started with e equilibrium equilibrium which got its negative sign and we will make it positive and replace it by r because resultant is equal and opposite uh, yeah equal in magnitude opposite in direction so r equal to 152 86.86 square plus 52 uh, 0.07 square and cos square theta plus sine square theta will become 1 and then we will get 161.48 newton and uh, r sin theta when we divide one by the other r sin theta by r cos theta equal to uh, equal to this particular value that will lead us to tan theta equal to something therefore theta equal to tan inverse of 52.07 divided by 152.86 it's equal to 18.81 uh, degree so in a similar way we solved of course here sigma fx equal to zero is missing and sigma f y equal to zero is missing but anyway we have the same kind of equations but with a different connotation different concept here we are equating the sum of vertical forces sorry work done in vertical direction equal to zero the algebraic sum of work done along horizontal direction equal to zero and we we negate the equilibrium to the in order to treat this equilibrium in the form of resultant because the question is establish the value of the resultant the system is not in equilibrium whenever resultant exists the system is not in equilibrium but anyway since virtual work principle is to be applied only for the systems under equilibrium we just moved with equilibrium we converted equilibrium into resultant so uh, i think we we close this tutorial and we have the fair concept of uh, what work is what virtual work is and what is the principle of virtual work how to use it effectively in order to solve problems and the first problem happens to be from concurrent force system so with this we will end the tutorial and if you have liked this video uh, kindly subscribe to my channel and we will come out with the other next tutorial on when, which will explain how to solve some of the complex problems or moderately complex problems under the concept of uh, the principle of virtual work until then thank you